World Autism Awareness Month. It's a time focused on sharing stories and providing opportunities to increase understanding and acceptance of people with autism. More than 70 million people worldwide are on the spectrum, neurodiverse, they say. It's a condition that impacts about one in 44 American children. And joining me now to share their experience raising a son with autism is a father you might know as Grammy-nominated hip-hop icon, rapper, and actor from the Bronx, Fat Joe. Joe, thanks for being with us on this day. Thanks for having me. So uh, I want to talk about your son, Joey. You've, you've shared recently uh, messages and posts about Joey on his birthday last year where you opened up, really, about uh, being just 19 years old when you had him. And the doctor's telling you at, uh, that he wouldn't be, what, quote, normal. He might be hard to deal with. So talk to us about, about that, about Joey and how, how you've adjusted and, and what he means to you. Well, I'm 19, we're having Joey. Uh, once the doctors tell me that uh, he wouldn't be normal, his mother said we should give him up for adoption. Mm. And that wasn't that wasn't uh, the case. Me, my mother, my father raised Joey. We said, nah, he's ours. He's brought so much joy to this family. And I feel like he's the biggest blessing to me in my career, my family. And uh, Joey's just always, always happy. He's a bundle of joy. Now, of course, you know, kids on the spectrum, you know, they hard to deal with. A lot of fathers run away. A lot of parents run away from the responsibility because it's not easy raising a kid on the spectrum and with autism. And so, um, you know, I, I just, you know, I told the world, listen, guys, we're all normal. We all have situations in this world. Uh, we love our kids, and we're here to support them. And I just want to encourage any dads, any parents out there that are having a tough time uh, with their kids, man, to stick in there and just know that they're our biggest blessing. Amen. Love that. And let me ask you, what, Joe, what have you, what have you learned parenting from 19 years old to now, parenting Joey being his dad? What have you learned about yourself as a dad and as a man? Well, I know that I would never leave my children behind. I know that no matter what the case is, and I'll always stick it out uh, with them. Uh, Joey's the Don. He's like the Don Corleone of the family. When we have social events and gatherings and, and dinners, he knows he sits at the end of the table, and he knows that he has little sister, little brother. Uh, even though they, they're old now, he's like, he's, he's, a, he's a cool character. He loves music. He loves reggaeton music, uh, and we just love spending time with him. And, that, and as a dad, it just taught me that life ain't easy, uh, but we got to fight through it and, uh, and, and appreciate them and, and, and bring awareness to them because a lot of uh, unfortunate situations that's, that has happened with the law and kids that are autistic or on the mm -hmm. spectrum mm -hmm. that they don't know that they are autistic, you know, we bring an awareness to those kids that unfortunately uh, got got dealt with the wrong way. Yeah, and, and because they interact with the world in a, in a way different from from us, and there are so many misconceptions about uh, people on the spectrum. We've talked a little bit about that. So, uh, what message do you want to send to those of us, uh, you know, who who don't who aren't in a family with somebody on the spectrum? What what, what should we know uh, about? Raising a son you should about love these kids. I should, I you should say. love them. I, I was walking. I was in the Bahamas uh, just two days ago, and a parent with an autistic <laughs> son walked up to me and said, hey, Joe, my son is... And I knew immediately, and I went up to him. I hugged him. I hugged him. I rubbed him. I let him know that I love him, that I understand him, and that they're not invisible, and uh, that we need to embrace them and show them as much love, even if... You don't have someone autistic in your family. Just embrace them. And I want to shout out to, uh, in our world, what is the essential workers? Is the school teachers and every all the all the all the people in the in the in the in the spectrum to teach our kids and and help raise them and and put them through programs that we love you and we see you and we appreciate you. Absolutely. Well, Joe, uh, hip hop icon, rapper, Grammy nominated artist. And great dad, it sounds like. Thanks very much for being with us. Fat Joe. Thank you so much for having me.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.